First law of thermodynamics states that energy can be converted from one form to another, but energy cannot be created or destroyed. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of the universe increases in a spontaneous process and remains unchanged in an equilibrium process. For a spontaneous process, delta S of the universe equals delta S of the system plus delta S of the surroundings and it will be greater than zero. For an equilibrium process, delta S of the universe equals delta S of the system again plus delta S of the surroundings and that's going to be equal to zero. Entropy changes in a system, delta S of the system, can be calculated from the standard entropy of reaction, delta S super zero reaction. It is the entropy change for a reaction carried out at one atmosphere and 25 degrees, that is standard conditions. Consider this hypothetical reaction. Delta S super zero of reaction will equal C moles times S zero for component C plus D moles times S zero for component D minus A time moles times S zero for component A plus B moles times S zero for component B. That is products minus reactants. What is the standard entropy change for the following reaction at 25 degrees Celsius? Two moles of CO reacts with one mole of O2, yielding two moles of CO2. From a table, we would find the standard entropies. For CO, it's 197.9. Notice the units are joules per Kelvin mole. For oxygen, 205.0. And for CO2, 213.6. Notice also that even elements have a standard entropy. Substituting in 2 times S0 for CO2 minus 2 times S0 for CO plus S0 for O2. Putting in the values, it evaluates to be a negative 173.6 joules per Kelvin mole. Here's a table showing standard entropies for different materials. Let's consider entropy changes in a system when gases are produced or consumed. If there's an increase in gas molecules, delta S super zero is going to be positive, greater than zero. If the total number of gas molecules decreases, then delta S super zero will be less than zero, negative. If there is no net change in the total number of gas molecules, then delta S0 may be positive or negative, but will be a small number. What is the sign of the entropy change for the following reaction? Two moles of zinc reacts with O2 to yield two moles of zinc oxide. Total number of gas molecules go down. Delta S is going to be negative. The entropy changes for an exothermic process shows that the change in the entropy of the surroundings will be greater than zero. Entropy increases. For an endothermic process where the system absorbs heat, the entropy of the surroundings decreases. Delta S of surroundings will be less than zero. Entropy for a phase transition. The entropy change for a phase transition equals the change in enthalpy divided by the temperature of the transition. Delta H can be the heat of fusion, vaporization, or sublimation. Here's an example. What is the entropy change for 50 grams of methanol at 68 degrees? The delta H of vaporization is 35.3 kilojoules per mole. Again, delta S equals delta H of vaporization divided by the absolute temperature. Changing the 50 grams to moles by dividing by 32, the molar mass of methanol, times 35.3 kilojoules per mole, divided by the temperature 341 Kelvin. This equals 0 0.162 kilojoules per Kelvin, or 162 joules per Kelvin. The third law of thermodynamics. Delta S equals zero for a perfect crystalline solid at zero degrees Kelvin. All substances, including elements, have entropy. 
so S0 is always positive in units of joules per Kelvin. The entropy of a perfect crystalline substance is zero at the absolute zero of temperature. That's the third law. This graphic shows how that's arrived at.